loves welcome back to another episode of cooking with rash yeah. yeah i know you guys missed me i've been m.i.a for a bit but i'm back and we're fixing that right now and uh, this morning i just feel for some peanut well truthfully i've been feeling for some peanut porridge for the longest while and uh, it's raining cats and dogs but we're getting this video out rain storm hail anything so i got some raw peanuts from the other day because i've been craving the peanut porridge and i decided to i decide that i'm gonna make it by the way i haven't made it before so you guys are gonna help me i put stuff on instagram and i got some tips from some people that make it una beg me i get advice give thanks for both <laughs> and so i decided that I need condensed milk in the recipe to sweeten it and I do have condensed milk so you know me well if you know me me like to take my turn my and make fashion so I decided that I'm gonna make my own condensed milk as well so let me show you guys what I have so all right so remember you know I'm making peanut porridge but I'm gonna make the condensed milk first and sit it aside and then we'll start the porridge so watch this space Okay, so the recipe calls for a cup and a quarter of uh, soy milk and uh, Lasco, if you guys have Lasco, you can use that. And it also calls for three quarters cup of sugar, brown sugar. I think if you have white sugar, it can work. And then I'm gonna blend that together. Ooh. Well, I'm just mixing it together in the blender, really. They were asking why I never mix the dry ingredients together separate. And it's called for some hot water. And we're going to blend that in together. Let's see some things on the side. So we're okay, going to scrape that down. I almost forgot coconut oil. Right. And then guys, this is our condensed milk. It has that dark color because of the brown sugar. Hitherin man, oh god. And it tastes good, like cinnamon leaves in it so while that go on bubble or until it start going up and blend up my peanuts guys it's raining super hard and I don't know if you guys can hear me but this is a cup of raw peanuts already washed it and I'm just adding them bodies here in it and to that I'm gonna blend it with some coconut milk Mix that in, mix that in, mix that in. And I'm just going to blend it until it's like extremely smooth. As much as possible. Then we have to stir, 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 stir. You know, I think we'll make this already, don't it? And you know I'm Jamaican and I'm black, so ain't nothing gonna waste. So I'm gonna get some water, wash it out with this, and put it in that thing. Stir, 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 stir. All right, let me show you our vibes. Okay, so you guys may be wondering what I'm going to use to thicken the porridge. Because I'm not using flour or cornmeal or oats. I'll be using cream of wheat and it's the creamy wheat cereal. It's very yummy and it cooks in literally like five minutes. 
So I'm gonna mix this in a little more liquid and then use it to thick my porridge. And it literally thickens up by the time you say who that what that. Who that what that? <laughs> this is banana, that's why the color is yellow. And I'm just gonna make one thing and add my nutmeg. You know, measurement with the grace by the grace of God. My vanilla. The measurement is by grace. And of course, more cinnamon again. Porridge of nice and spicy. Oh, yeah, mean. All right, let's go to the pot. All right, so adding all of this niceness to what's in the pot. You know how it go already. Everybody are going there. Everybody's going in. See how it come together nicely. Smell nicey. How you smell? <laughs> Can't remember now, no more, you know. But yeah, now let's get turn on the stove under this and make it cook. The simula make it really thick, guys. So I have to add a little water to it as needed. I don't want to tick, 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 hurry. I want it nice and creamy. Let us add water as needed. While it's a cook and a simmer down, you can try pre yang. Yep, this looks like it, guys. One thing though, I think I added too much simola. If you guys are going to use simola, you don't need more than a half a cup. And now it's ready to be plated. I'm hoping I know that one must add salt to it, right? Don't think I said that before, but that goes without saying. Guys, you remember the milk? Look at it. You can see that? I'm so proud of me. <sighs> All right, so we're sweetening it. This is our sweetener. Sweeten to taste, obviously. You think you need more milk? So after sweetening it with my trusty vegan milk, I sweetened it, bowled it, is that even a thing? Bowled it, <laughs> garnished it with cinnamon and peanuts on top. Now for the taste test. All right, how is it? We tasting from the same one? I have no idea. I mean, I like this tastes good for a first time try. This is good, it's good, right? Yeah, the, the one is better than the other. Oh, one sweetened more than the other. This one fresh on, but this one, no, I think this one's sweeter, whatever. But they're both good. And that's a wrap, my lovely people. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my cooking with rash videos. <laughs> yeah. If there is any other thing you guys would want me to try, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next. I'll see. You... I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>
बिरेना